Welcome to App Design Tips. I'm gonna show you some pro tips that you can use to master layouts in Adobe XD. Now, although this video is just going to cover the layouts, if you want more pro tips for Adobe XD, you can follow Elaine Chow on Twitter, or you can just search for the hashtag Adobe XD Pro Tips. So let's jump right into our Adobe XD project here where we have a few artboards for different screen sizes. And I can just select one of these to turn on the layout. We can come over here into the properties panel and just enable layout. And you can see that layout is enabled on all of the artboards and they're different for each one. So Adobe XD by default automatically sets the layouts that's responsive for each screen size. But we can still change this if we want to. So for example, for this web version, I can click on this artboard here and we have some options to change how many columns we have. So if we just want six columns here, we can change that easily. And then we can change the gutter width to 32 and that's going to change the column width dynamically. Or if we change the column width back to 120, it's going to change that gutter width back to 16. And we also have the option here we can change the margins here with this left box and it's 240 right now. We can change it to 160 if we'd like. And if we want to set a top and bottom margin, let's say that we have a header and a footer, especially for the web here, we want to set this at possibly 80 pixels at top. And maybe at the bottom here, we'll have 200 pixels right there. And so now when we resize this artboard here, those margins are going to apply even though the viewport area here is still set at 800 pixels. Another thing I like to do with my layouts is just bring down the transparency because this layout is kind of in the way of my design. So I wanna select all three of these artboards here. We're gonna come over here into our color picker and let's just bring that transparency down. I'm gonna bring it down to 5%. And so it's really light, but I can still make use of it. Now, if I come back into my artboard tool here and we come over and create a new 1280 web you can see that that layout that we just set here is not applied to any future artboards. If you want that to be applied, we can click on the artboard, come over into our properties panel and click make default. Now on the other artboards here, like for example, this artboard, we can click use default and that's going to change to use the default settings that we've applied. Now, if I come over to these other artboards and I click use default, it's not going to because again, this is specific to each screen size. So you'll want to set the default for each of these so you can use that default in the future. So next I wanna show you how to use guides and it's a little bit different than layouts. So I'm going to delete these artboards because we don't need that for this demonstration. And I'm going to zoom into this artboard here. And we can hover over the top of this artboard or to the left of this artboard. And you can see that this bar highlights showing that we can drag a guide over from the left or from the top. So for example, if I wanna drag this, let's say 80 pixels, we'll do 70 pixels here from the top. And now we have a guide for our menu bar and we can come over here into the nav bar and we can just set a 50 pixel menu bar here. So the thing that's nice about that, we could come in here and we can add a bottom margin. So let's do that here. We'll change this to 50 and we can add that bottom margin. But what happens if our content gets really long, then that bottom margin is going to stick with the bottom of that page where we might want the nav bar to stick right where this guide is. So I'm going to actually create a new guide. I'm gonna snap it right here, right where this viewport height is. And that's at 667. And so now with these guides and the layout set up, I can quickly wireframe my project. Now, if you're enjoying this video and you're brand new to Adobe XD, I actually have a course that teaches everything there is to know about Adobe XD. And I provide exercise files so you can follow along with me on a hands-on approach to designing a mobile application. If you're interested, there's a link in the description below and it has a steep discount applied to that link. So I can click on this square here and create this little menu bar right here. I'm just gonna change this to black so you can see it and we're going to create this footer right here. And I'll do the same thing, just create black. And now let's say we have some videos in a video feed here in this page. If we wanna wireframe that up, most videos are 16 by nine. So I can drag this rectangle here. I'm just gonna drag this anywhere. You'll notice that I can snap these to any edge of this layout. And I can also snap it to these guides here. But what I wanna do is just let go 
and then I can change the width here in the properties panel to 160 by 90. And then I know that I have the 16 by 9 ratio and I can lock that proportion. But then again, if I drag this out, it's going to snap to those columns. So I know that I have the proper snapping. I can come over here, let's set this at 20 pixels. And now if I hold down Option or Alt, I can just copy this down. And we have a nice clean layout that's matching the layout that we have set with the guides and these layouts here. Now, another thing you can do with guides, if I click on this artboard here and I drag one to the center here, just so you can see a little bit better, I can create a new artboard now. I'll create this iPhone 8 artboard. And you can see that these guides are not copied onto the new artboards. And I'm going to Command D or Control D to copy this four times. And you can see that there aren't any guides, but if you don't wanna do the math where these guides are and you want to copy these across all the other artboards, all you have to do is click on the first artboard, go to View, Guides, and Copy Guides, and then you wanna select all of these other artboards, View, Guides, and Paste Guides, and it's going to paste all of them directly in place where you had the other ones. Lastly, I wanna cover using squares as guides for icon design or similar designs. So I'm going to scroll over here to the right. I'm going to click on my artboard tool. And I'm just going to drag a 128 by 128, holding down shift to constrain. And if you don't get it right, if you don't land on these proper numbers, you can change that here. And now I'm going to zoom in here using the Z shortcut key. And now I can turn on this layout and it's going to apply that same layout that we had before with one column but we can change this to square now. And if I zoom out, you can see that the square is applied on all these other artboards. Don't worry about that because you can toggle this back and forth and get those other layouts that you are used to. But here we want this square. So we're going to zoom in here and I wanna show you how this comes in handy with clean icon design. So first of all, let's say that we wanna create a calendar here. We can just quickly create the rectangle that we'd like and we can snap any point of this onto these corners of these squares. And I'm just gonna create a four pixel corner radius. So we'll do something like that. And we can also use lines. So if we want to snap one point of the line here, we'll drag this and snap the other end here. And we know that that's clean 16 pixels below the top because that's two grids. And then I wanna create the little rings that we're gonna use for our calendar. So I'll just go ahead and change that radius here. And even if I copy this holding Option or Alt, I can copy this over here and it's going to snap to that other side. So we know that it's symmetrical even though we didn't double check it. We can do that, we can play with the sizing of things. Now, just because you have grids turned on doesn't mean you have to obey the snapping and snap your designs directly to them. So here, these rings look a little bit small. So I could start with something like this, but I wanna change this to let's say uh, 12 by 20. So we can do something like that, and I think that looks a little bit better, but we can still snap this right here into the center, and we'll do the same thing. We'll just delete this, and we'll copy this over, and just keep that centered like so, and we have our calendar. We can always move things to make sure that they fit, and I'm just going to create a circle right here, and even using the pen tool, with the pen tool, we can snap to different corners. So I'm gonna to snap to this corner first. We'll snap to this one. And we'll come over here. We can have a 45 degree check mark or I can just lean it over here a bit. I'm gonna keep this at 45 degrees actually. That looks better. I'll hit return. And I know that that's 45 degrees because I just snapped on that grid. So, so now I'm just gonna scale this down right here and everything looks kind of thin. But I can come over here, turn off the square now select everything and let's just set a, a three pixel border and let's keep that uh, rounded caps something like that and this one i'm going to keep straight and now even though this does snap to a grid i just want to visually align this so you can start with the grid and then you turn it off you group some things and just make sure that it's all aligned and looks pretty and you can create a nice icon there knowing that everything's symmetrical even though you didn't measure the right and the left side. And very fast you can use that square layout to create some clean designs.
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to check out my other videos and click subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos.